Hello. Oh, nice bit of whiff. There we go. Afternoon, everyone, on this lovely Friday the 13th. Absolutely gorgeous weather here, where I am. And where is that? I'm in the town of Barking. Now, you're probably saying what's here and why you're doing this. Well, I'm at Barking Abbey. How you doing, James? Yes, folks, I'm at the historical Barking Abbey. And it's right beside me. That there is Curfew Tower. How you doing, Frank? So the last time I'd done one of these, someone said, oh, give us a tour. So I thought, well, what better place to start than the Abbey? So who fancies going inside? Hey, Bob, how you doing, sir? Right, so we go inside the Abbey? But I warn you now, be prepared to go back in time. Now, what do I mean by that? That's my town. That's modern day. That there is the past. How you doing, Joy? So you say, folks, we go inside, have a little tour. Let's go. By the way, this is my local town. Look at that, folks. Right on my doorstep. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Back in time. We now leave modern day behind us. I don't know how clearly you can see this. There's a little bit of a brief history about the place. Captain Cook, married here. Little brief history there about Curfew Tower. Don't worry, I'm sure if you go back, obviously you can pause this to read it a bit better. But here we are, folks. Oh, there's something I want to show you. That door. Now you're probably wondering how big that door is. I'll see if I can show you. That's how big the door is. <laughs> Either they was a lot smaller back then, or they didn't want anyone going up there. I haven't quite figured that out yet. <laughs> but yeah, that's how big the door is. Alright, anyway, back to the tour. What do you think, folks? There it goes, a little bit with the uh, address, if you wish to visit. There you go, right there. Hey, how you doing? Ah, oh, awesome day. Look at that sky. Look at this sky. Look at the view. I'm having an absolutely fantastic Friday the 13th. I don't know about anyone else. Yep, St Margaret's Church. I've been trying to gain access for quite a while to here. Because I've got a feeling there will be some quite good stuff going on in there. But I can't seem to get hold of anyone to get permission. It's frustrating. Now, I don't want to say too much about the place because I'll be coming here tomorrow night with a few people. And we shall be doing... Oh, I've just got a connection. Sorry. And we'll be doing a natural miniature ghost hunt. So, if I think of it, I'll broadcast live then as well. And look at this building, man. I'm afraid that's as far as we can go for now. Because obviously I can't get access, which is frustrating. Ah. But it's such a shame, really. Yeah. We've got that horrible town on the other side. And you've got all this beautiful, beautiful scenery here. It doesn't make sense, does it? 
But yeah, this is why I'm so lucky. Because like I say, it's right on my doorstep. I think the oldest, the oldest grave that we found here, I think it's over 200 years old. And I believe, if memory serves me correct, I do remember where it is. And don't forget, if you see anything, or if you hear anything, while this is going on, let me know. I mean, look at that, man. That's definitely making sure, isn't it? Look at this. Now, this actual place, this abbey, it was built in 666 AD. Sadly, it was demolished in 1541 AD. I know. Shame, isn't it? It was built... Oh, look, squirrel. <laughs> Small squirrel, you're famous. Yeah, it was built by St Ethelberger. Uh, sorry, by St Erkenwald. So it was built by St Erkenwald for his sister, St Ethelberger. Now that is brotherly love. Right, sorry folks, I hope you don't mind. Uh, I believe it was one of these that's right by the church. Excuse me, sorry, I hope you don't mind. Oh, look at that headstone. It's got a skull and crossbones on it for God's sake. <laughs> Sorry, I do apologise. Yeah, I absolutely love it here. And how lucky am I to have this right on my doorstep? Like I say, we're coming here tomorrow night with a few others. So, it should be quite an interesting night, shall we say. Sorry, folks. I hope you don't mind me coming through. One thing's for sure, whoever's there is not coming back. They actually made sure of that before they went, look. Jeez. Now, over here, what I'll do, I'll give you a sneak peek into the area we are going. And then I'll go there as well. We have some steps here, but when we go up, lead to this picturesque look at that the ruins of the abbey now is that not a sight to behold don't worry I'm going to take you in now that's why I'll give you a sneak peek first of course modern day in the background but we'll just ignore that there we go. Look at that, folks. Ah, that's the three I've been looking for. Right there. I do believe they are the three saints. I believe one's St. Ethelberger, one is St. Urkel, and I can't remember the third one offhand. I honestly can't remember the third one offhand. I know it's bad of me, I should know my history by now. <laughs> but, next week, I'm off work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to Fant's house and do a bit more research on the area. And the ruins. Right, let's take you back some more. Oh, I'm so glad it's such a lovely day to do this on as well. Look at this. Oh. This is one of the reasons why I do not want to move from the area. The rest of the area, don't care about. This part, absolutely beautiful. 
as it goes, there's a lovely spot over there. I'll take you to in a sec. Just got to wait for a few people to move. Cause obviously, I don't want to film them without permission. Sorry, folks. Just pulling through. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Look at that. This is basically the rest of St Margaret's Church. Now if you want, I'll take you to St Ethelburga's Church afterwards. Yeah, there you go. For some reason, I always get this feeling that someone's at that door. I don't know who it is. But there's always someone at that door. And we've got a lovely garden over here. Sadly, it's locked at the moment, so we can't gain access. <coughs> but it's an absolutely lovely garden here. Talk about peaceful. Right, so we're going to the ruins, folks. What do you say? Hope you're having a great day as well. Oh, before I forget, while I'm on, Ghostly Hour, this Sunday. 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. UK time. I'm going to have. Let's just switch the camera back. Because I've got people in front of me. I'm going to have a fantastic guest. And what we're going to be doing is card readings. So if you ever wanted a reading done, then by all means, tune in, uh, ask a question. If you're not going to be able to make it, Send me an inbox, and I'll ask the question on the show. Right. Here we go. Look. Such an amazing area. Excuse all the construction noise. For some reason the building sank. Look at this, folks. Right, there we go. Into the ruins. I'll show you some information afterwards as well. So if you want to read up. Like I say, if you see anything, feel anything, hear anything, send me a message, let me know. Look at this, folks. Tell you what, we'll start off a tour by going this way. So I want to see those three graves of the saints. Oh. And we are blessed with gorgeous weather over here for a change. <laughs> so who thinks I'm lucky to actually be able to come here at any time? Oh, as it goes, I'll tell you what. Why are we here? Anyone get any feelings about what this area is? Or what it could have been? Excuse the shadow. Yeah. And obviously, comes around here. The reason why I don't want to say too much about the place is obviously coming here tomorrow night I don't want to give the people that are coming with me too much information. In that way, anything they pick up on can either be validated later on when I do the research or it could just be a personal experience. Oh, first time I've seen that. Right, let's see if we can find out. Look at these folks. So obviously, I'm guessing when the Abbey was here, 
this would quite possibly be the place that was most sacred. When they come and ask for advice or penance or just pray to them. This is not a gorgeous sight. Anyone wants to come on as well? Let me know. Send me an invite. I'll get you on. I uh, don't know if anyone's commenting because I can't see no one coming up. So, sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring you, but I'm not. I just haven't had any comments come up lately. Look at that, folks. Very historical town. I don't know of many places as old as this. Like I say, 666 AD it was built. Apart from, obviously, Stonehenge. Or oh, Woodhenge, obviously. Don't really know of that many other places that are as old as this. Now I would show you a plaque up here which tells you my connection with Abbey. But I can't do that at the moment. So I'll probably do that next week sometime. Because that will sort of give some of the game away. And it will give the power suggestion into the people's heads that are coming here tomorrow night. Like I said, I don't want to do that. Right, let's go back upstairs. So, but those of you who are regular to my show probably know my connection to Barking Abbey anyway. And it is a strong connection. Oh, bloody construction workers. Look, that's modern day construction for you compared to ancient construction. I now go up some stairs. Hmm. But mainly in the summer, people actually come here and use it as a sort of a park. <clears throat> right, let's get a few from the other side. Look at this, folks. Henry VIII, I hope you're proud of your handiwork, wherever you are. Ah. But you know what? Quite often when I come here, and it is usually when I would say I'm having some problems or need a bit of advice or an answer. And uh, believe it or not, I usually get it here as well. So it is a nice place to actually just sit, relax, and just think. You can put the modern world behind you. You can just sit here, just take it in. It's open. Thankfully today it's sunny. So it's absolutely gorgeous just to sit here, relax, and just not think of anything. It is an absolutely fantastic place to be. And I'm so grateful that the rooms are still here. 
and that I'm able to sit and enjoy the ruins. They're probably wondering what I'm doing on this phone, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, the spirits of the area. But they're all good, I must admit. Never had any problems with any of the spirits here. They've always been great to me. They've, like I say, they've given me answers. Uh, was it one of the last times I was here? I asked for a bit of guidance. And there was a song lyric that came into my head just as I got up to leave. And it was just to know that something good is going to happen. And it kept repeating and repeating and repeating in my head. So I'm keeping that, I know they wouldn't lie. So fingers crossed soon I'll be able to find out what it is. So yeah, enough of me, you want to see the ruins more, didn't you? Look at that, folks. Is that not a picturesque view or what? That blue sky, lovely church ruins, historical ruins. I mean, what more do you want? So hopefully tomorrow night we should get some good results. What I'll do as well, I'll email Frank's house, I'll see if I could do a Facebook Live from there as well, because that is another gorgeous place. Uh, I've tried, on my way home, I'll show you Eastbury Manor House, and I've tried a couple of times to get permission to do a Facebook Live in there, because I wanted to do an experiment. But as of yet, no one's got back to me. Uh, St. Erkenwald, uh, St. Efferberger Church, sorry, is just down the road from where the ruins are. I actually used to live right next to it. But sadly, they've been torn down. Like I say, once again, modern progress got the ugliest of buildings up there now and they are ugly buildings and it looks like the church is only used at certain times now so it's a bit of a shame right let's head off out and then what I'll do I'll stop this one and when I get to Eastbury I'll restart the live because uh, it's going to take me about because I'm walking Shows how close I am, I'm walking. Look at that, folks. Oh. Now, there is actually a plaque. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Diane sent me the picture that was supposedly on the f west side, I believe. Right, here you go, folks. Just a little something for you to read. Like I say, you can stick it on poles so you can read it a bit better. There's some of the stuff found. Look, even back then, yeah, look, a stylus in 700 AD. They even had them back then. And we think we created them. Nah. I believe these can actually be found at Frank's house. So, like I say, if they let me, I'll do a Facebook Live from there as well. Alright. I'm afraid we're now going to head back into modern times. Hey, look at that, you don't get that anywhere else, do you? Oh, nice little tree there. Right. 
so folks, but I'm afraid we're heading back now into modern times. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, like I say, what I'll do in about 20 25 minutes' time, I'll do uh, another quick Facebook Live from Eastbury Manor House, which is on my way home. But for now, that is the tour of the Barking Abbey ruins and St Margaret's Church. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you everyone for allowing me to do this. Oh, look at that. Got to show you this before we go. We've got to get a close up of it, haven't we? Holy moly. Look at that. So, I hope you don't mind. Holy. Let's get that out of the way. Wow. Let's see if it's the same on the other side. Yeah, looks like it's pretty much the same all round. Oh no, that's a shame. Well, it shows how old it is, look. Piece of it's fell off. That is such a shame. Sorry, folks. Do apologise. Yeah. That is absolutely fantastic. Right, I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to walk in between them because obviously I don't want to show disrespect. But yeah, folks, that is it for now from Barking Abbey. Hope you enjoyed the little tour. Like I say, now back to modern day life, which is, yeah, it is really. Oh, I wonder, oh, we've got Tony Stockwell at the Broadway Theatre soon. So look him up. And ta Tony Stockwell, if you're watching this, do me a favour. Reply to my message, please. <laughs> ah, here you go then, folks. One more shot of Curfew Tower. There you go. There you go, folks. Right. Don't forget, tune in Sunday, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. UK time for the Ghostly Hour on kcor.com. Uh, I will be having a guest, Georgie, uh, I believe Georgie Dane is her name. And I'll just get confused for her surname because it's D-E-Y-N. But yeah, she shall be doing some card readings for you. So get your questions in if you don't think you're going to be able to join me live. But for now, remember, it helps to know. And I will see you on the other side. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.